Are you ready, kids? Aye, aye, Captain! I can't hear you! Aye, aye, Captain! Oh! Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? Queen. Oh, it's supposed to snow tonight. 
Lola, what can a six-year-old do to make the world a better place? Um, I'm just gonna just Lola, you can't scratch your butt. What? Help me think. We'll knock it off. Right. Those who scratch lose the match. What's it? Okay, talent portion. Look, I'm, what you got? What's it for you guys? I'm, Impressive, but I'm gonna and pass. I'm gonna be a robot. I'm gonna be a robot. How about How a robot? ribbon dance? It shows elegance and poise. Excuse me while I go bark. Lana, I'm busting my hump trying to turn you into a pageant queen, and all I'm getting is lick. Do you want those Dairyland tickets or not? Okay, okay, you're right. As Gil says, she who gives two to. I already agreed! I didn't know this was going to be on TV. Good thing we don't get the Princess Channel. Thanks for getting me the Princess Channel, Daddy. No problem. Maybe it was either that or the Sports Channel, and who needs that, huh? Welcome to the Little Miss Prim and Perfect Pageant. I'm your host, Donnie Dufresne. Let's meet America's junior sweetheart. Hailing from Royal Woods, Miss Lola Loud. And brother Lincoln! Lincoln! I should have known! And I just want to say it is great to be here. <laughs> Sorry you were downwind of that, Don. They're ruining me! Yeah. Sports Channel, here I come! Lana, what were you thinking? Eight, Remember eight, what Joe says. Four, if you eight. belch on stage, the judges will rage. Joe uh, actually has a rhyme for that? Mm -hmm. That's why he's a pageant powerhouse. Cute. Now, the evening gown competition is next. If we want to win those tickets, we cannot Man. afford any more slip-ups. Oh, hang on, everybody. Yeah. This But that's what makes you awesome. And I was crazy to try and change you. Aw, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Lola Loud and her fabulous ribbon dance. Well, that's me. I'll do my best. Forget the ribbon dance. Why don't you go do your own talent? Really? 
Okay, but we can kiss those Dairyland tickets goodbye. I don't care about them anymore. Go be yourself. Now you can buy whatever you want. Yo, Hux, give me a face slap. I already 
that I didn't have any salt. Hey! Let's investigate this crime and catch the low light who's mm -hmm. responsible. Give it a rest, Patrick. There's no crime to investigate. Now go home. Stupid Patrick. I didn't do anything wrong. Ah, what am I getting so worked up about? I'm sure that by tomorrow, this whole ugly mess will be a funny memory. <laughs> Our top story tonight. Giant Oyster has its feelings hurt. The only clue that could be found was this lone peanut. And as you can hear, the oyster continues to emit this horrible cry. A cry so powerful it can be heard around the world. A cry that not only breaks the sound barrier, it breaks the hearts of our citizens. What kind of cruel, careless, evil person would deliberately upset one of them to its most gentle creatures? <laughs> yeah, what you mean? No, Gary. How would I know anything about the oyster? Yeah, right. Defensive? I'm not being defensive. Barnacle, what is this, 20 questions or something? <laughs> this is getting a little out of hand. All I did was throw a peanut. I didn't mean to make the oyster cry. I just wanted to see it perform spectacular stunts. Aw, oh, everyone's gonna hate me. So gonna I, I need some advice. Now, let's see now. Who could never hate me no matter what I do? Squidward! Squidward! Oh, Squidward! SpongeBob, do you have to knock so loudly? Sorry, neighbor. Oh, oh that overgrown clam is giving me a headache. I can't even take my afternoon beauty nap. <laughs> Funny thing you should mention that old oyster, because I uh, was kind of wondering, uh, uh, let's say I know this guy who may have something to do with the oyster. You mean you know the guy who did it? Mm -hmm. Hello? Oh, this is great! You and I can go turn him in, and then I'll get so much sleep, I'll be gorgeous. Uh, actually, I, I'm just talking hypothetically. You mean you don't know who did it? Well, I... I uh, no! Well, you are the day of today. <laughs> Play games with me, mister. Hey, Patrick, what are you doing? Oh, hi, SpongeBob. I'm just continuing my investigation of the great Clamu Caper. Um, have you found out anything? Yes. No, wait. Uh, no. But this grain of sand looks pretty suspicious. And so does this rock. And I've got a few questions for this little piece of grass. Don't worry, SpongeBob. Patrick's on the case. The truth will be revealed. I'd better go see Sandy. She'll know what to do. I can't stand it anymore. That poor, poor critter. What kind of inconsiderate person would upset such a gentle creature? Uh, that's kind of what I wanted to talk to you about, Sandy. Why? When I find out who caused that. Were you at the zoo on the day of the oyster incident? Did you or did you not take part in various activities of zoo time merriment? And are you familiar with this peanut? Just one more question. 
Is it true that you were at the oyster's lair with a Mr. Patrick Star? Yes! Yes, it's true! Mother of pearl! The oysters are mothers! And that pearl's no pearl! It's a 